this Spider-Man's control And Batman with his fist But clearly I don't see myself up on the list She said, where'd you wanna go? How much you wanna risk? I'm not looking for somebody With some superhuman gifts Some superhero Some fairy tale bliss Just something I can turn to Somebody I can kiss I want something just like this
Welcome back to the channel, I'm Evil Rabbit. We are here in my S14 that you just saw the livery being built. So I decided to want to bring you guys this build for my new S14, my new favorite car. The livery is from a uh, car designed in Torque Drift and I brought it here to Forza Horizon 4. And uh, definitely uh, have a lot of fun with this S14. We'll get into the tuning here in a minute. We're just throwing it around a little bit. Ooh. We are on our G920 with a uh, full 900 degrees of rotation. NRG innovation 350 millimeter wheel on the wrong gear. And uh, hydraulic cam brake, sequential shifter. And uh, we're just having a lot of fun just ripping this S14. It is a 2.6 twin turbo. Motor swapped in this thing. Basically fully built with uh, all the bells and whistles, full cage and everything. And uh, pretty sweet looking livery if I do say so myself. As we wrecked it. Um, if you guys did notice on the Instagram, if not on the back of the car, the, the, the channel logo is now in Forza Horizon 4. There's a white version and a black version. I just totally messed up that entry on that. As well as the new TE King Over Rabbit logo, so those are also available up on the marketplace if you guys want to check it out. This paint scheme is as well. I did upload this full paint scheme onto uh, the uh, paint shop if you guys want to rock the same style paint I am. Feel free, it's up there. Um, I will throw this tune up as well, but I am just having so much fun with this. Doing a little freestyle drifting with this S14. There we go. Run this thing through. A little clutch kick back that way. This car is actually really smooth and really smooth on a wheel. So if you guys want to check this tune out, I will make sure I don't throw this tune up for you guys to download. But like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video of the uh, creating of this livery, listening to some Weaver Rabbit track while we do it. But creating of this livery because a lot of people enjoyed the livery video last time. So we decided to make a new livery for my new S14, which is my new favorite drift car. So I am working on doing uh, possibly in the next episodes or two, doing a pedal cam as well as a wheel cam. If I can figure out how to get my software to run how I want it to. Oh, almost uh, almost wrote the car off there. Uh, I will possibly be doing the wheel cam and full pedal cam. So if you guys want to see what's going on underneath the rig with the uh, full uh, inverted gas brake and clutch pedals while I'm sliding or tapping. So spring season is here. And we get a lot of fun coming up because of all of the... Uh, 
expansions coming soon, as well as just no snow. This is a nice sweepy road. I wish it wasn't a speed zone. Quick flick back, quick clutch kick. There we go, run the outside edge. I didn't think I was gonna run that fully, but decided to uh, stop that out. So, oh, we're dead. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I forgot he went clear. Oh, I got freaked out there for a minute. So, let me know what you guys think of this livery here on Forza Horizon 4 and what you guys think of it. Do you guys like it? Do you guys not like it? If you guys did download the uh, Evil Rabbit YouTube logos that I have put into the game, let me know as well. Definitely appreciate the support. I've seen some pictures with people rocking the logo as well. Um, stay tuned to my Instagram as well because i um, got some stuff coming that people have been asking for. We're just uh, doing some free stuff. Oh, we're going to wreck it. We've got some things coming for you guys if you guys want to help support the channel. Uh, let me know down in the comment section below. I was thinking about doing uh, selling some merch and stuff like that. I know a lot of people have been asking... Uh, saying that if I had hoodies and stuff that they would uh, support and get some. So um, stay tuned to the Instagram for that. More details coming very soon. As well as on the channel, of course. Keep tuned to the channel for all the information if you do not have Instagram. So we are just freestyling this car right now. Oh man. Do that too much. I'm going to try and see if we can salvage this. There we go. No brake, no clutch kick, no handbrake. Trying to do a lot more drifting with weight transfer and uh, not utilize my handbrake as much. Trying to do a lot more uh, weight transfer drifting and, and clutch kicks rather than just using the handbrake all the time. But you know, there is times where we do need to use the handbrake, especially when it comes to like tandeming. Or right here. Just I probably could have clutch kicked that and be fine. But I'm trying to do more of a smoother style drifting with uh, a lot less handbrake. Just trying to utilize the weight of the car. I didn't think I was going to make that. Just trying to utilize the weight of the car more and uh, just the inertia forces when throwing the car. So, uh, I have a... Uh, tripping out LED behind me, so I gotta fix that real quick. Uh, now that I've fixed that uh, tripping out LED, so like I said, hope you guys enjoyed this little uh, livery build and car build video. Before we get out of here, I will show you guys the settings and everything that I have for this car. Well, power-wise, I'll leave the tune up for you. If you guys wanna check the tune out, give it a shot, and let me know what you guys think about it. Ooh, almost taking that fence out. Slow that down a little bit so we don't smash into him. So, definitely having a lot of fun here in Horizon 4. Definitely cannot wait for the expansion to come out for all the mountain road switchbacks that are coming because I cannot wait to see what kind of uh, drifting we can get done there. I forgot this is a drift zone over here. Probably in fourth gear. Have I done this drift zone yet? Oh yeah, I have. Oh, jeez. Lost my steering placement there for a minute. A little flick of the clutch You've kick. Arrived at your destination. I don't want to go the other way. So, Drifter Crew's got me by a little bit in that one. So I've definitely been having a lot of fun building new cars. So if you guys have a certain car that you guys like and you want to see built on the channel, let me know down in the comment section down below what kind of car it is. And uh, maybe I'll do a build. Because uh, I do enjoy building a lot of drift cars. We do have uh, a pretty substantial amount of money now. I think we're over six million, which is probably not a lot to compare to some people. But we uh, have money to build more drift cars. That would have been sweet if I could have continued that. Scared the wildlife, though. Saw those deers over there uh, running scared. Wall ride or wall smash, whatever, however you want to call that. Is that a random Subaru just parked? Really? 
I didn't know people parked and enjoyed the scenery. That's not Subaru, that's a Jetta. Park and enjoy the scenery. Now if we get out and walk around, that would be sweet. But we can't. So like I said, I will leave this tune up for you guys. It's a little uh, freestyle drifting and the new build on the S14, which you will see a lot more of because I plan on doing more uh, open sessions here on Horizon 4. Maybe some live streams as well. Um, and if you guys do play Torque Drift, you definitely catch me in Torque Drift with the S14 with this tune, or this uh, this paint. This isn't a replica of the tune that is in uh, Torque Drift. It's close, but this is just my uh, paint scheme that I use there. I see a really nice road that we're about to hit. I think I've been here before. I think I've tried to do this in like almost like a full sweep, but we're going to clutch kick it in fourth. Probably should have done third. This fourth was not happy with me right there. So we're going to bring this one back because this is a pretty cool section. So I plan on being on a Seto more as well as well as Forza Motorsport 7. So look for all of that coming to the channel this week as well as Torque Drift and uh, maybe some other games too. So like I said, check back to the Instagram for any information on other things that I'm going to be uh, doing for uh, subscribers and stuff like that. Uh, hopefully I will be doing some giveaways soon to you uh, to you guys for you know supporting me you know give something back to you guys. There we go. That was almost perfect. Keep that going. That's a fun little section to run. I think I'm gonna get some people and run some tandems on that section. So until next time guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, I like to thank you guys for watching. Make sure you follow me on Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram, all which you found in the description box below. If you're not a subscriber, do tap that subscribe button, bell notifications if you want to get the videos as they come out. And as always, I like to thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. It's wet over here. And I'm out. <laughs>